Here, a moment ago in that big ring down there, a new champion of the world was crowned, Ricky Dozan of Tokyo, Japan, who in taking the only fall accomplished in the match, won over the Freddie Blassie. The audience here, a tremendous crowd, stood up, gave the man a standing ovation, a roar, the kind of which he probably won't hear again for a long, long time. Probably the biggest cheer he ever heard in America. But up for Ricky Dozan, who tonight took the crown, the belt, the title from the former heavyweight champion, Freddie Blassie. The new champion of the world, Ricky Dozan. That's the way it went here tonight. We're back here again. I've never seen such injustice in all my life. I'm going to take this up with Worldwide Wrestling Association president, and I'm going to take it up with the commission. If that isn't far enough, I'm going to see my president, my best. My great friend, President Kennedy, because this is the dirtiest trick that's ever been pulled. They right. signed here for two out of three four minutes. It's supposed to be a two-hour time limit, not a 30-minute time limit. Don't you tell those people are two heavyweight champions. Freddie Blassie is still a world heavyweight champion. Good night. And don't you forget that. Well, that's it. That's it. Well, 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 There's a lot of room at the Olympic Auditorium. Time to talk with wrestlers about wrestling and things that make things exciting here at the Olympic Auditorium. The tag team champions of the world, Billy Varga and La Pontera. Si, senor. Uh, Reader, let's get this straight. It's Count Billy Varga. All right. Count Billy Varga for you. Thank you. Billy Varga for me. You know, ever since I've been 17, when I won the world heavyweight, light heavyweight championship of the world, I was called the king. And there's no reason today for you jittering for a moment to recognize me as such. As you saw, there is no wrestler that compares with me. And now with a combination of Mr. Pantera here, we are going to defend our World Tag Team Championship here next Wednesday. Notice I'm trying to keep myself under control because uh, just recently with you, I came out and I was a little bit vociferous. And I don't believe a gentleman that counts like myself and the American Heavyweight Champion should show any sort of, of uh, emotion. You know, there might be something very prophetic about how, what happened Wednesday night when a new heavyweight champion of the world was crowned. And it could be a new tag team championship, too. Well, you know. those two gentlemen just proved that they were mediocre and that there was only one king, and that king is Count Billy Varga. They There's can beat their brains out, the two of them. Well, yes, Count Billy Varga is the new king of the tag team champions. And I imagine after next Wednesday night, when we meet this, this cowboy Dick Hutton, who I claim is the perennial amateur, I mean, he held the world heavyweight championship, yes, but as I said before, and I will say again, he met only mediocre wrestlers. He's never met a wrestler like Count Billy Varga, a man who is so far, whose name is in Valhalla, and no other wrestler's name is there, and ever will be. Uh, I mean, a man of my stature, when you meet a man like this, it, it's sure death. And of course, I have an opponent, or rather I should say an op a partner. And by the way, let's not misunderstand this gentleman here. Although he doesn't speak English, he's no lackey. He doesn't have a noble title like myself, but he's no lackey, and as a wrestler, he is par none in a tag team partnership. Mm -hmm. Would you like to say a few well, words? Yo no entiendo nada, pero yo prometo romper a, a los dos del que vamos a luchar la próxima semana, especialmente a Enrique Torres. What? Yo he prometo wants... dejarlo inútil. Let me, let me uh, distinguish this for the American-speaking people. He's just trying to say that he is not only going to beat the two men, but he is specifically going to beat Torres because he wants to prove that he is the Latin. Well, Wednesday night at 7.30, when you gentlemen walk into the ring for your match, or to defend your title, you're going to find two wrestlers in the ring against you. Well, I'm Dick gonna, Hutton and the Ricky Torres. I want to tell you, so you saw that match just there, just now, I mean, uh, I mean Wednesday night, that I bloody match? It. That's just going to be the low before the storm, because this is going to be bloodier. All right. Uh, be 